What's up, YouTube? So today is Saturday afternoon. Now, as you may have seen, I've been having an oil issue where it's just spewing out everywhere. So I'm trying to narrow it down where this leak could be possibly coming from. All right, guys, so I'm using my UV light, as you can see. I got green right here. And the other place is normally uh, blue, like right here. Anyway, y'all see that green? Uh, it's so weird because I bet this thing like drenched. I got that oil and stuff right here. What I'm thinking, once we go on boost, it pop everything off. All I see is a green right there. It would make sense though, if it's all on the front side right here and on the back side of the motor too. And you know, when you riding and stuff, all the gravity, you know, inertia and all that's gonna pull it down. So you really can't indicate where I mean, I doubted that was coming from the rear main seal. I seen like a little green spot, but I doubt I gotta make sure everything retighten and all. Cause when I went to fill under the intake, this wasn't even all the way down. It was like this. So oil could have easily just spew just like that. Oh, it's a closer look right here. All right, so guys, y'all see, this is the green dye right here. As you see how glowing it is compared to this blue right here, this green right there. Look at this one. We got green, but it's mainly got blue, look like. As you can see, you can see the spots. If I put it anywhere else, it's gonna be. It's kind of hard to tell with the camera. It mainly got green right there. All right, guys. As you can see, we got a lot of dye right here, and like the seal got busted up uh, compared to this one seal. I sent a video like this to my tuner uh, to see what can I do to prevent this uh, crankcase pressure. Um, like I said, I'm thinking when I go and boost, because like I said, it drives fine and stuff, but once I go and boost, uh, oil just spill all over. It'll be on the front side and just makes it way towards the back. I thought it was my old pressure sender unit and my crank sensors, but it's not. I'm only getting green dye from here and then my oil pan, the plug, I'm getting a little green dye from there and then my little uh, oil feed line, getting a little green dye, but it ain't nothing major compared to this. So I'm trying to get this figured out. Ain't no way all the oil should run straight down like that. But yeah, let's look at all that. And she is busted though. She is busted. Thing this one is too <clears throat> but like i was telling my tuner i only have one oil catch can i just had ran one line on the inlet port to this valve cover and then i had like a little baffle on the other side and then on my intake i had uh plugged uh, both of the holes i thought that would have helped but it's not so i gotta figure out how could i um, run to release all that crankcase pressure but anyway, I'm gonna take this valve cover valve cover off and uh just go from there. Alright guys, so I had to talk to my tuner. 
I wish I could turn down the boost or recommend I turn down the boost till I find the uh, or sort my oil issue. But he also said I can run like a valve um, cover with like a port on top. And he told me he have a, like a valve cover that he have like a port on top and he run like a 12 AN line uh, to like an oil catch can and all that. And the line I'm running, I don't think it's enough uh, to remove the pressure and all that out. So if I could just run like a regular um, valley cover or find one with a port on there, um, that'd be pretty cool. But I'm going to be looking um, and just seeing how I can do this to relieve all this uh, pressure and stuff when I'm uh, pounding on it. But if I need to lower it, I will. I go about like nine, maybe. Uh, it's still move regardless. But I got to remove this little gasket. So I got everything covered up. So I'll probably play with this in the morning, clean out everything, uh, figure this out or something.